Did you know the average American consumed three and a half more pounds of fresh fruit last year than the year before, and vegetables are also increasing in demand. CBS 2's Vince Girasoli has a look at the machines helping your grocery store meet those demands. That plate of pasta sure looks appetizing, but many Americans are trying to avoid it. It kind of looks like spaghetti. There's just been consumer demand for um, replacing pasta. Massive food processors shredding sweet potatoes into pasta-like strands are helping consumers do just that. It's simulating spaghetti for those who want to go gluten-free. Look around your grocery store and you'll notice a growing number of pre-packaged fresh fruits and vegetables, leading the consumer charge for millennials eating nearly three servings a day. We can do on melon, pineapple, watermelon, peeling, chunking, coring. Luca Ascari's company is among the many displaying their food processing innovations in Chicago this week. They not only produce high volumes of fresh food, they also cut down on labor. Less people that grab and touch the fruit, you know, more less risk of contamination. Consumer demands also create the need to grow more product faster. More people are eating vegetables and there's less land, less people to do it. With the shrinking labor market from rising prices and border issues, Plant Tape's agricultural tractors get vegetables into the ground faster. With three people, we go about two acres an hour com compared to conventional that uses around 15 to 17 people and they go about an acre an hour. The labor is just not there. I mean, every it's a problem for every grower, every farmer out there. There's just not the people. Something to ponder the next time you're checking out. Now, there are so many things that are fueling this pre-cut fresh produce trend, from busy work schedules to a sharp rise in vegans. They are now 6% of the U.S. population. Do you notice yourselves finding it easy to find fresh cut produce now? Absolutely. I have a couple in the refrigerator upstairs. It, <laughs> does it make you eat more than you did in the past? It does. It's a good motivator because you're not doing a lot of the work. Because somebody else did the work, and mm -hmm. there it is. And you, know, you want to get watermelon or melons or whatever, and yep. there they are. Yeah, well, that's how I'm eating now. Now, if I could just exercise a little more, I'd be happy. Well, I know you love the pasta. I was wondering if you've Try the vegetable pasta, the real. You know, I have, and it's very good. Okay. My nephew makes it when he comes over to visit. The problem for me is, is I, I just want to eat the real thing. Yeah. Right. But you've been doing <laughs> the fun runs. You've been, you know, hitting the road running. So you're, you can. Yeah. Check out my involved. Facebook page, everybody. Okay. <laughs> Thank <laughs> Thanks, you, Vince. Betty.